40,000 people of all nations, ages, and races attended COP21 for 12 days. These included nearly 23,100 government officials, 9,400 representatives from UN bodies and agencies, people from more than 1,350 civil society organizations, many businessmen and women, and also 3,700 members of the media. COP's president, Laurent Fabius, explained the reasons for the broad participation in his opening address. Almost 150 of you, heads of state and government, are gathered here despite the tragedy. And across the conference site, several thousand delegates and civil society leaders are present, while millions more are active around the world. We wanted to bring together the world's non-governmental stakeholders for the climate, including cities, regions, businesses, non-governmental organizations, social and economic forces, and citizens. So what does COP21 actually mean? Well, COP21 stands for the 21st Conference of Parties, which are the 195 nations of the world, to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. This UN framework was established at the Earth Summit in Rio in 1992. As host of COP21, the French government had the enormous responsibility to ensure its success. The mood and energy level at COP's small city was phenomenal. People were bustling everywhere as if a human anthill had been set afire. Everyone was very serious and in a hurry.